Hey guys, how's it going? My name is XMVille, and first of all, this is a team deathmatch gameplay, not a free for all gameplay. So, yeah, I know I changed it up a bit. Uh, yeah, free for all the team deathmatch, not really a lot, but I still changed it up. Actually, I had this gameplay lying around and I just decided to use it. But, anyways, uh, final score is 27 and 2, I believe, or somewhat near that, but it's a good gameplay, so enjoy it. And I won't really talk about it because I'll want to do another commentary about stuff like that but anyways uh <laughs> you'll see in another commentary what i'm talking about but for this commentary i wanted to do because it's a movie review that i just watched the movie like i don't know i went and saw a movie about two hours ago it's like 1 a.m in the morning right now while i'm doing this commentary and i'm gonna upload it as soon as i wake up tomorrow or around there but anyway so yeah i'm doing this commentary right after the movie so i pretty much know everything that uh, about the movie and i know what i want to say uh, so the movie I watched, obviously, you know, but the title is Women in Black that just recently came out, uh, February the 3rd, I believe. And last movie review, you guys told me to do more recent movies, and I, uh, I agree. Uh, it was kind of stupid of me to choose a movie last time of an uh, old movie that none of you guys heard. So this time I'm doing a new movie that you guys probably all heard and m maybe even watched. So yeah, I'm doing Women in Black. So, Women in Black is a new movie, a horror movie that stars uh, Daniel Radcliffe, or is it David or Daniel? Daniel, I think. Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe, and sorry about the FMG nines. Yeah, so Daniel Radcliffe, uh, and most of you guys probably know him by the Harry Potter guy, so I'm probably gonna like call him the Harry Potter guy instead of his real name. So, most of us wanted to see this movie probably because the Harry Potter guy was in this movie. Uh, I know I wanted to see the movie because of that reason, and uh, my sister and cousin is probably also the same thing, because uh, it does look cool with the Harry Potter guy in that movie. Uh, so yeah, uh, he was a pretty good actor in that movie. It's kind of weird seeing like him out of a Harry Potter movie. Uh, he kind of looked weird without his glasses, but I think that's because I'm so used to like seeing him with his glasses on. Uh, but whatever, you know, he was a good actor in that movie. Uh, I didn't really care. He was like he like you know from Harry Potter to a horror movie uh, he, it was a good transition I didn't really care you know uh, but uh, what am I trying to say yeah horror movies so I'm more I love horror movies that's why I wanted to see this movie uh, like out of all the other movies there was like I would see I wanted to see this movie in particular because it was a horror movie and that's my main like genre of movies that I love watching uh, and by the way, this AC-130 is absolute shit because everyone was kind of in that square building like right here and I only end up killing one guy, which kind of sucks. But what am I going to do? Uh, so yeah, how much time do I have left to talk? Not that much. So <laughs> I'm going to try to hurry up a bit. Uh, so yeah, horror movies, that's why I want to see this movie. And this movie wasn't that scary, to be honest. I'm not sure if I'm a guy that doesn't get scared that like easily because af after the movie ended a bunch of people said they got scared or something but i didn't get scared so yeah i'm not sure if i'm a guy that doesn't get scared that easily or those people in the theaters just get scared way too easily uh but i didn't think the movie was that scary to be honest and i thought it would have been like way more scarier and especially in in uh, the previews of the movie it kind of looks scary uh, but one thing that made the scary or like the movie not scary was that they use the same like technique of like s trying to scare you over and over and just got boring. Uh, for example, they you know that like technique I guess where the guy looks out the window, sees like a creepy woman, then something random distracts him. He looks at that something random for like two seconds, then he looks back out the window and that creepy woman is gone. Uh, they used that technique like friggin' 14 times in the movie and just got repetitive and really annoying. Uh, I don't know, I was kind of bored during the movie. And they used like other stuff also which kind of got like really annoying where, you know, like a random thing pops up. And you kind of expect it which made it really like annoying. Uh, so my final rating of this movie is a 5 out of 10. It wasn't that good. Uh, and that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and hope you enjoyed my review. I'll see you guys next time in another video. See ya.